Hello everybody, my name is Paul from Cryonetic. In today's tutorial, we'll be sculpting the leg piece over here for our character. So, uh, let's get started. First thing we want to do, we just want to select the pants area. We're just going to select smooth shading. And we want to try and keep everything roughly about the same detail. Now, because this is basically one model, not like the arm piece, which was separated into two models what we're going to do is we just when we go over to the sculpt mode you just have to enable dynamic topology and then just symmetry lock on the x-axis that way if I paint something here it will affect that side as well so Essentially, all that we're really going to do is we're going to follow the same methods that we did for the cloth piece over here on, on the arm and also for the chest. So we're just going to start by adding some detail. We're just going to use the blob tool and then just holding shift to smooth everything out. I'm making sure that we don't actually make his legs too skinny. a bit more detail here at the back give them a little bit bigger calves and then a bit more detail here on the front and maybe then just create the knee part and then just make the legs a little bit thicker around the knee just smooth that out so it's not that obvious and then just smooth out these pieces as well I think I'm going to create the grab tool just to pull these out and in a little bit. There we go. So, as you can see, we're starting to form the leg a little bit more. That might be a bit too much detail for the front. And then we're going to use the crease tool just to... Uh, basically add some some detail like like we did with the shirt piece over here so basically we're going to hold control add detail and then without control just take the detail away and then when you smooth it out so you can work on one side um, and then it will reflect on the other side but because you don't really want you want detail a bit more along the lines of this eventually you're just going to have to disable the mirror and uh, just so you can add your details in a little bit better just want to do that just going to add a cut in here for where the leg bends there we go back leg is not big enough on this area so I'm just going to add a bit more detail there and then let's just use the crease tool to make it a bit smaller maybe did a bit too much there and just try and add some folds Another thing I want to do is I want to add a pouch on the side here. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Basically, we'll just use the clay strip and just holding in. Just add some detail there. And then you're going to use your crease tool just to outline it. And then also the crease tool just to just draw around it so that you can actually get the detail for the pocket area there. There we go. Okay. 
It looks pretty good. So it's going to smooth out. And that is pretty much the process that we're going to just keep on repeating. So I'm not going to bore you too much with the rest of the things that I will be adding into the model. Um, you can just add your own little details that you want to add in. So if you want to add a bit more folds over here, maybe you want to add another pocket and at least I can show you. You can zoom in, use the crease brush and then just add like the pocket and then just hold control using the crease brush and then just add some more details and then you'll see you'll start getting like the finer details coming out over there so mm, most of these details will rely on the texture itself of the model so you don't have to worry too much on adding a lot of detail onto your character here this is more just sculpting to try and get the general sizes of your model right and everything so i believe that everything we did here is pretty good so if you guys like what you saw please subscribe to my channel leave a like leave a dislike i will be continuing this series and hopefully i sh should be able to get it done roughly in about a week or two because i am working a bit more actively on my videos at the current moment so uh, I thank you all very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you again. Bye-bye